Hello, Scott School and Herbis and Woods. This is Mr. Lindsay. Um, just wanted to um, get started with you here the first week back to school with our online learning. As you probably already know from talking with your teachers, there will be um, some different links for you to do some online learning, including art and PE and music. So what I wanted to do today is share with you what the art link is going to look like and how it works. And then after that, I'll get into a quick drawing um, on how you can get started with a first project for this week. So let me go ahead and I'll switch this around for you so you can see this better. And switch screens. We will go ahead and make the, there we go, that's what we want right there. So this is the slide and what you will see on your end of it for um, your weekly art idea board. So right here I have art idea board week one. That it would be next week. African masks as a project idea. Um, this says to check out the video lesson for the week with the choices below. And there's a bunch of different ideas that I'll usually add in here. Right now I have a few ideas for an African mask project. So let me show you how this is going to look. Right here, or it's empty right now, is where I will link this video that we're creating. So the video that I'm doing right now will be linked right here. And you'll be able to click on the video link and open it up and watch the videos. So this is where I'll put the video links. We have a spot here with a project idea, project idea. Here are some examples. Sometimes there'll be a project idea. This has a couple links that you can click on to send you to some different pages where you can get more ideas. So I'll show you some of this right now. Um, for example, if you want to see this up close, you can click on that. It will open it up and you can see a better view of that page. That way you can see a larger copy of it. Okay, so let me close that. We have another one here. I can click on this, open it up, and it shows you another project idea. Maybe instead of drawing yours like the video that I'll show you, you have some of the supplies at home to try something like this. This is kind of what we were getting started with at school before we left. We did a paper mask or some classes got started. Um, but what you can do is find some colored paper, cut out a head shape. You can cut out additional details to add around the head, some horns, ears, some different pieces here. Different colored papers for eyes, nose, mouth. If you have some string or yarn at home, you could glue and attach some string or yarn. Maybe go back through and use colored pencils or markers or crayons to add some details. And you could have a paper mask. So there's a sample for you that you could try. Um, this one I'll show on my video clip, but that's where you get to roll the dice to see what you get kind of randomly and make a mask at random. So I'll show you that in a bit. Um, this down here, there's a couple links. I will click on the first one, information and examples. I found a really cool website that had a lot of information about African masks. There is a sample here of an African mask. Some information about different types of masks. Artists like Pablo Picasso, who did abstract portraits, he was inspired by um, African tribal masks, and he used those for his paintings, for ideas. We've looked at Picasso before at school, but he was inspired by African masks. Masks used as different parts of ceremonies, costumes. There's all sorts of different reasons for African masks. Um, we did watch a video before the end of the school year in a lot of classes where we saw them make wooden African masks. Here's a sample of different mask types and what they look like. You could use those for ideas. Maybe you really like this one here and you want to try to draw one like that. You could use that for an idea and maybe come up with a mask design that's similar and draw one. Okay, so there's a bunch of ideas on this page and information. I'll close that one. There is also another link here. It says printable African mask samples. I found another link which actually is right off the same web page. And this one has different masks that you could print out for ideas or you can print larger copies. You could do those for ideas or maybe after you draw your own mask, you want to do one of these and color one. You could print one of these out as a coloring page and add your own colors and maybe add details to these. So there's some samples you could work from. So if you have a way to print that at home, even you could print a sample and work from those. OK, 
Okay, back to the main page here. One more thing I wanted to show you um, in the corner. After you're done with an art project, say you do a drawing from this or you do a paper mask, okay? If you want to share it with me and I put over here, I would love to see what you've created. Then you can click on this link and there's a way you can share your artwork with me from home. You just have to be able to take a photo of it, take a picture of it with a camera. Or a phone might even work. So there's a spot here when you click on that link for your email address. So you would have to type in your email from home. So your school email works perfectly. So I'm going to type in mine. Okay, there's my email. I would select add a file. It'll give me some options here. I can upload from a different device. So I could select from a device. If I have a different device I want to send my artwork from. I would probably think it's easier if you took a picture and put it in your Google Drive. Okay, so I'm going to go to my drive here. And I already have some different things in here that I could work from. So maybe I want to double click on that and attach that picture there. And that would be shared with me. My email's here, the picture, and I can click submit. And that'll go into a special folder for me where I can see what you've done. So just as an idea, I would love to see what you're doing at home. And it's not going to be something I can see in person right now. So it would be great if you could send me some pictures of what you've done. So I'll close that back out. Leave this. Back to the main slide. The slides will look like this for art pretty much every week. I'll just change it. So instead of African masks, next week could be um, drawing buildings. Maybe we'll do portraits and self-portraits for a week. So each week would be a different topic with some ideas you can try. You can do one idea and show me, or you could do all of them. If you want to try everything on my idea sheet on this idea board, you could definitely do more than one. So there's plenty of choices for you. Let me go ahead and close back and see if I can get back to my main video here. There we go. You'll have to bear with me a little bit. I am not that great with technology. I'm learning as I go. Get that out of my way. All right, back to um, the drawing part. So this is what I have for a sample for today. Maybe this is the choice you go with instead of uh, making a paper cutout mask. You could use this if you have paper at home, and you could use these shapes and ideas to do cutouts for a mask. But I made this just for a fun um, roll the dice kind of randomized drawing. We've done these before at school for free time. You could draw several different masks just from this one page. So the idea is you roll to see what you're going to get, and then you can draw what you get on the roll. Um, you could also just pick and choose what you like. Maybe I like that head shape and I want to do that eye. Maybe I'll use that nose, and I could pick what I want. But the idea is to make it fun by rolling. So I'm going to roll to see what I get. Number one, which means I have to draw more of a round mouth, or a round head shape, sorry. So I'll start off with kind of a large circle on my page. Make it big enough, I have plenty of room. There's my circle. Number two, the second roll is for the eyes. So let's see what eyes I get. Three, I ended up with more of that square eye there with an eyebrow above it. So let's draw two eyes. Put one here, one here, and in my sample there's a second square inside, and then there's some sort of a line above. Okay, there we go, so there are my eyes. The next roll is going to show me what nose I get, and I ended up with a five, so I have this one right here. So let's draw that nose. Actually, the funny thing is, I got similar numbers the last time I drew one of these. So the nose I'm doing is actually right here. Okay, that's the one I just rolled, so I'll go ahead and draw that. There's my nose shape. Now on to the mouth. Oh, I just rolled it off the screen there. I ended up with a four. Okay, a four is that mouth right there with the teeth kind of closed. So I'll draw something like that for the mouth. There we go. And then there's a second line inside. And then the teeth. There's a line down the middle with some teeth like this. All right, there we go. There's the mouth. 
Now I can roll the last rolls just to get some different um, ideas for additional things you can add around the head. So let's roll and see what I get for that. A four, which is this one right here. So I'm going to try to add something similar to that onto my head shape. So let's move that over. And I would draw maybe to start, I'll do this piece here. And then I have some triangles on the side, triangles oops, on this side. And then this one had a piece on the chin, something like that there. So let's draw some sort of a shape on the chin. There we go. That's the mask I ended up with. And then from there, you can add all sorts of your own details. Um, and, you know, just for fun, I could add more details if I like and just keep going from there. But it gives you the main idea. So maybe I want to add some of my own designs. Maybe in the cheeks, I'll draw some lines, some stripes. Okay, and then do the same on this side. Okay, maybe I want to put some circles around the outside of my mask. And a lot of African masks, they might start off with wood to carve them, and there might be some metal pieces in there. Maybe these are like little metal pieces all the way around. Okay, I could add more. Maybe I'll put another triangle in here and make extra triangles. Okay, maybe this shape here, I will draw some sort of a Oh, some sort of a design. Maybe I'll go triangle and triangle, do it again. There, a little design here. Maybe in this part on the top of the head, I can think of another pattern or design I can add just so it's not too empty. Anything you like would work. So you would continue until you filled it in the way you want. And then if you have the supplies at home, I would go back through and start coloring. Colored pencils, markers, crayons, anything you like. Remember, that's just one idea, too. This page is just one idea that you can use from that um, idea board to do the mask. Like I said, you could go to that website, the link that I had for you, and see if there's some mask ideas you like there that you could work from. You can do the paper mask. Um, any supplies you have at home would work for this African mask idea. If you want to try something a little different, um, you can do some research on your own and see what kind of mask ideas you can find to create one. But I really look forward to seeing what you do, and I hope you have some time to uh, do an art project for me and show me by um, submitting it on my site and linking it to me. So if you upload that picture for me and send it to me the way I showed you, then I will be able to see what you do. That would be great, and we'll see you next week.